Hello and welcome to Endless Mode, I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And here today we're going to check out a little indie top-down game called Dimension Drive. I was browsing the eShop and kind of ran into it. And uh, I'm always good at, up for a good shmup. And uh, this one looked just different enough to catch my eye. I wasn't really expecting like high-end visuals for the intro, but I'll take it. It's nice. Mm. It was the, the gameplay footage that looked really just kind of spiffy. You, uh, you warp between two screens. It does mean that you have to be, like, some kind of chameleon person in order to really, like, engage with both screens, but... It kind of reminded me of, like, Ikaruga, or one of those kind of games where it was very much about the... the additional play mechanic besides the, just, like, you know, shmup. I'm gonna stick to normal with, like, regular <laughs> shields and stuff, because... I played it for a couple of minutes, and I'm aware. <laughs> the dimension drive allows you to switch sides, teleporting across dimensions. Use it often. It is very important. There is a point where you, like, run out of energy if you just sit in one dimension and, and fly around. So if you, if you try and use just regular shmup tactics, you will eventually stop being able to shoot. An endless tangle of unending dimensions where past It even has more backstory than most of these do. I mean, it is the typical, like, you know, evil dark death thing is happening. Single lone ship is gonna save the day against it. And they totally look like Tyranid cultists. They really do. Like, I hope Games Workshop doesn't see those gene stealers running around. <laughs> Although, these guys seem smart, as opposed to the, like, typical gene stealer, which is like, I don't know, a, a creature of, like, low cunning, but not, like, intelligence. Like that dude. He's like some kind of like, you know, Tyranid Pope. Look at him. Guess his name is Knees. Nice. Driven by relentless warmongering. His science. They're trying to take over the universe and then punch all the through to all universes. the other universes and take those over too. The devices that made it possible were known as dimensions. Like the Vex or uh, like any of those other kind of like you know, unstoppable onslaught type races. Yeah, you have like the only other ship with a dimension drive, and you're gonna put a stop to all of this somehow. It reminds me how the R type games were always like, you know, there were all these other ships, and they totally messed it up, but somehow you, in what was usually the exact same ship, if I'm being honest, oh, yeah. you, you're gonna be able to do it. Mystery, matching its power. So yeah, we're in the Manticore. It's the last hope of the universe. The only chance of stopping the dimensional wars. It's very tardisy. I don't know. It's like, ah, everyone else had these, but they lost. But I'm not going to because Turgonus. <laughs> but I mean, I do look very cool. So I suppose. So if there's infinite dimensions, aren't there infinite niases? I mean, in theory, but I guess those other universes, they must I have... I suppose built... there would be infinite manticores, too, then. Right. I was going to say, my guess is, is that the other Nizes didn't rise to power? Maybe it's like the one. Maybe he's eaten all of the other ones in order to become more powerful. That would make sense. You remember that movie, right? Sure. With, with Jet Li? Where he, like, went through all the dimensions and, like, punched himself really hard so that he could, like, be the best of him? Maybe I'm the only one that remembers that movie. I don't know. Yeah, you know, it was fun for a while, but yeah, I mean, it was it was it was kind of light on plot, but like there was real good fights, and I was impressed that they were able to make it look like he was fighting himself. That's true. I will admit that I was childish enough when that movie came out that I was like, "Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself?" <laughs> yeah. So yeah, like most show ups, I don't really need half the buttons. Well, sure. Dirt simple, but uh, you're going to get to watch me crash into all sorts of stuff real good. Because I'll forget what's on the other screen and hit the button. Go say hi with a laser. So yeah, it gives you a little, like, marker light drone so that you know where you're going to pop up, but 
You know, you really don't tend to notice it when you're like, oh god, I have to be over there now. You know. Like I said, we're gonna get to see me crash up real good. <laughs> um, those are like some kind of black box. You really want those? They're like an important part of the, you know, the extra of the game, I guess. I mean, as long as you make it to the checkpoints, you know, it's a it's a shmup. You made it. But they did give you a thing that you're going to try and collect, and it's only in one of the two dimensions, so hopefully sure. you didn't miss it. But yeah. See? There's a big thing in the center here, but in the other one there's not. <laughs> but I stupidly got in for a shield in order to get punched in the face by a bunch of ships. Neat. That also right, gonna call. be a, gonna be a continuing theme, whether I want it to be or not. <laughs> oh, here it is. Here's my first big challenge of can I remember how the thing works? You have no idea how many times I crashed into that wall because the stage moves you forward at a, a set rate, so you have to warp in and be pressing backwards so that you don't, you know, get crushed. Because those walls don't yield. You will just explode. Well, sure. It was really embarrassing the first five or ten energy. times. Oh, yeah, I am. That's the other thing about easy mode is it actually tells... Or normal mode, or whatever you want to call it. I mean, really. Uh, is that it tells you when you're out of energy. Uh, so, yeah. First boss, the Blade Destroyer. Hooray! Powerful beams! But yeah, you'll run out of energy as you, you know, shoot at stuff, so you'll want to try and bounce back and forth. Oh, missed the timing on that. <laughs> We're going to see that a lot. That's going to be probably painful for anyone who's actually good at shmups to watch this. <laughs> Maybe it should come with a warning. For epilepsy? No, for just really mediocre play, if I'm being honest. So the best way to dodge that laser mm -hmm. is to not be in the exact center of the screen. It's true. It's true. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I even remember that. I'm just proud of the fact that I didn't get caught in the one where he sweeps from left to right. Oh, because that yeah. one's super obvious and I should know better, but I need it a couple here. times on this, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was solid C work. I'll take it. You completed the level. I did. The first level. The one that's like, here's how you play the game. And you got data cubes. I did, yeah. Um, so they're how you, you advance... Choose different weapons? Or? Eventually. Oh, you like need everything else is... to get the next weapon. Right. So yeah, that's what the data cubes are going to do, is they're going to unlock more weapons, and uh, I think there were some, like, ship variants. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Lord Knees, about to take over some planets. And I'm like, oh, wait, I'm on this planet. I don't want you to have this. So I get to do that, like, reckless hero thing. Fly into the enemy fleet and shoot it a whole lot. Yeah. Of course, I mean, they have dimension drives too. So I don't understand why I don't see them warping back and forth. I'm assuming they're just not good at it, or maybe their small ships don't have it. Maybe that's only their capital ships, you know what I mean? Like... Oh, like how yeah. TIE Fighters don't have hyperdrives. That makes sense. Heck, these might not even have pilots. I might just be blowing up drones all day for all I know. Probably. You got energy. Oh, yep, I am. I really wanted that cube, though. So I had to stick around just a little bit longer than I was comfortable with, but it happens. There we go. We'll follow the shield on the other screen. Oh, there is. Too late. There's a multi shot. <laughs> okay. Oh. I forgot what screen what? I was on. Okay. I told you this happened. It's probably going to be painful to watch, but we were going to do it anyway, because. Yeah, a little bit. Hey, all it means is that anybody can do it. I mean, look at me. I'm. I'm playing it. Yes, you are. You sure are. That game is being played. No one can argue that. No one's going to assume it's a bot, because, well, you program a <laughs> bot better than that. It would at least have collision detection. Yeah. 
Don't bother getting that shield and pull uh, up. Am I? Oh. Yay! Didn't explode this time. See, I'm learning! Hooray! I mean, not a lot, but I'm learning enough that we can say progress was made. Checkpoint. I even made it to a checkpoint. Alright. That almost looked like skill. <laughs> not gonna claim it is. It's totally luck, but I did make it through. Oh. Oh no! That thing that was a boss is now just a regular enemy. It's doing that thing that games do. Yeah. Those take forever. Like they just want me to warp through them or something. Yeah, I don't know how that's supposed to work. Swap. I wanted all of its meats. I don't know what those do, I'll be honest with you, but. Makes me feel good knowing that I blew up the thing. I'll take out that enemy fleet, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're theoretic. Get that shield. Yay, and I didn't crash into the Porticullus. Hooray! The Starfire! It's an Asha Joule battle cruiser capable of delivering huge amounts of high impact rounds through its rotating multi orbital cannons. That sounds delightful! Oh, yeah. It's got a party cannon. You're gonna wanna swap back so you can reload. Yeah. Reloads pretty quick, though. Like, honestly. Oh, yeah. Okay. This isn't... This isn't the worst. I ain't getting the hang of it. I, I think slowly but surely my... My primitive meat brain is starting to understand what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm gonna say that and then I'm just gonna whiff it real hard. Yeah, well... But, uh, I'm getting there. Slowly but surely. Oh, hey! Hooray! You win! And I got both the prizes! We're done here. See! <laughs> yes! I'll take it. So, yeah, what do you think? It's Novel, got potential, right? Sure. Uh, do you want to give it a try next time on Endless Mode? We'll see. All we'll right. You, we'll catch you later. Catch you later.